Eighth grade, unit one, lesson eight, rotation patterns. Number one, for the figure shown here, A, rotate segment CD 180 degrees around point D. With point D as the center, rotate segment CD around point D. The segment is attached at point D and is an extension of segment CD. B. Rotate segment CD 180 degrees around point E. With point E as the center, rotate segment CD 180 degrees. The segment is above point E and is parallel to segment CD. C. Rotate segment CD 180 degrees around point M. Using point M as the center, rotate segment CD 180 degrees. The segment is identical to segment CD, only the end points have switched locations. Number 2. Here's an isosceles right triangle. Draw these three rotations of triangle ABC together. A. Rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise around A. Here's a look at the 90 degree clockwise rotation using A as the center. B. Rotate triangle ABC 180 degrees around A. In green, you'll see the 180 degree rotation using point A as center. C. Rotate triangle ABC 270 degrees clockwise around A. In red, you'll see the triangle's 270 degrees clockwise rotation around point A as the center. Number three, each graph shows two polygons, A, B, C, D, and A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. In each case, describe a sequence of transformations that takes A, B, C, D to A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. To get from the first polygon to the second polygon, I would reflect ABCD over the y-axis and then translate down 1. B. To get from the first polygon to the second polygon, I would rotate ABCD 90 degrees clockwise with center B equaling coordinates negative 1 and 0 and then translate coordinates negative one, zero to coordinates three and one. Number four, Lynn says that she can map polygon A to polygon B using only reflections. Do you agree with Lynn? Explain your reasoning. I agree. Polygon A can be reflected over the vertical line L then over the horizontal line M to get from polygon A to polygon B. Here's a look at the two reflections that take polygon A to polygon B. 